Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and in this video we are going to take a look at SFTP or Secure File Transfer Protocol. SFTP is basically SSH file transfer protocol and it transfers data securely by using encryption. SFTP works as a subsystem of SSH and shares the same port what SSH is configured for which is by default port 22. Please note that SFTP is not FTP protocol rather it's a different protocol okay don't confuse it with secure um, FTP protocol it's uh, not a file transfer protocol what we use it's basically a subsystem of SSH okay so it simply uses an FTP style of interaction between a client and an SSHD server okay so to connect to a remote system via SFTP we use SFTP command followed by the user and at IP address or domain name and then it will give us a prompt of SFTP to list the content use the ls command to change to the directory we use cd command or chdir command like simple Linux commands to list the current working directory use pwd and to make uh, a directory use make dir command followed by the directory name of your choice Okay, to copy files from remote machine to current machine where you are or I will be connected, I will use put command and to copy files from the machine or SFTP connected machine to the remote machine, I will use the get command. Okay, uh, then please understand that what files you can upload and download, you can just press the tab key uh, for like put, uh, type the command put and then press the tab key and then you will understand what files you can upload and when you will type the get command and press the tab key you can see that what files you can download so basically put is to upload and get is to download okay dash r uh, whenever is used it uh, will be recursive means that you can copy the directory and the content of directory okay and there are some examples and if you guys want uh, let me know just uh, type the in the comment section and then I can give you the link for this slide so you can download the slide also so guys let's take a look at the demo so for this purpose we are going to use uh, two machines let me minimize this uh, you can see with the IP address IPA that this is 192.168.1.10 and the other machine with IP address a IPA is 1.50 so we have two machines 1.10 and 1.50 so that's clear okay now to connect what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect uh, from 1.10 to 1.50 and for that purpose I'm going to use SFTP command followed by the user root I'm connecting with user root you can connect with any user and whenever you're going to connect with this user you are going to go into his or land in his home directory so how we can prove that let let's uh, let's list the content and you can see that it's showing me the content over here okay ls and you can see the same directories here so this means that right now we are in roots home directory okay so let's say if you connect with the user test you are going to land in his home directory or the tests home directory okay perfect so now let's uh, let me show you what we can do with this uh, sftp um, protocol so let's say i have this i want to put a file okay or first let's do uh, some small things let's say make directory mkdir is used to make the directory and i'm going to call it last group okay uh, list the content you can see that this last group uh, should be created I cannot see it here yeah here last group is created and over here you can see that at the moment it does not exist but let's ls and now we can see that it's created okay good now what I'm going to use uh, do is I'm going to uh, go into this last group directory and you can see at the moment there's nothing in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file so as you know that to upload a file we use the put command and press the tab key and you can see that the list of files what you can upload 
So I'm going to upload this test.txt to this uh, last group, okay? Let's check where I am right now. Currently I am in root, so cd into last group. And now I'm in last group. So to upload a file, put and then the tab key or just uh, type the file name, press enter. And here you can see it's 100% uploaded list and it's available there. Let's prove it ls and now you can see the test.txt exists. Okay, perfect. Now let's remove this file. rm is used to remove the file test.txt, removing file, going back to this directory, ls, and you can see that the directory is, uh, the file is gone. Okay, let's see, let's say you want to, uh, let's say you want to download some files. Uh, I am going to create here in the last group a file, uh, let's say, touch, server dash one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot fifty dot txt okay and now <clears throat> going to one dot ten we can see that we don't have such file so I want to download this file what I can do is get get and now press the tab key and at the moment it's not giving me anything because I am in last group okay it should actually uh, ls yeah it should give me the file anyway get it's uh, and type the file name server and press tab and it's it has completed it by itself enter and it's fetching and now just a minute a new version has been released by VirtualBox. Okay, fetching and let's see if it's uh, downloaded. LS and perfect, we can see that server 192.168.1.50.txt is now available on my 1.10 machine. Good. Okay, now back, let's minimize this. Now again, how we can basically let me go out of this and list the content okay now how i can upload uh, the directory with its content for example let me again go to this machine uh, you can see it's 1.10 clear the screen list so i have this directory called last group here cd into this and we have some subdirectories and files in it okay now very important thing to know sft works in such a way that whenever you are going to upload the file you should have the same directory name in the remote system also what what do i mean by that for example let's say i want to upload this directory last group with the content of this directory I should have the same directory name last group or any other directory name but it should be same in my remote machine also otherwise it's going to give you some error so let's try to upload the files at, at the moment you can see that I don't like I have only one file error and I'm going to remove it okay clear now I don't have any content here. Now I'm going to put with dash r. R is recursive to put all the content, the directory and its content. And what? Last group. Press enter and you can see that now it has uploaded the files. Okay? And everything in it. LS and you can see that the content is available now and you can even go into the directories and list the content and everything is there. So let's see what will happen if this directory does not exist. So I'm going to just rm-rf last group. Full directory and all the content. Clear? And this time let's try to 
upload it again. And you can see that it's giving me this error, unable to canonicalize the path. So that's the biggest error. Let's do it again, mkdir, even, let's say, uh, it's, I'm in slash root, okay? So mkdir last group, this time, because the directory has been created, this time, if I use the same command, it will work. So this is very important thing to know and understand. Last group, and everything is back. Okay, now, but this thing has no effect on the downloading thing. For example, let's say, let me go out. Last group, I'm deleting this. And we have this SFTPD um, directory here on this server. And let's go to our 1.10 machine and delete that because I think I have this. Uh, no, I don't have it. Okay. You can see that there's no such kind of uh, such directory SFTPD. Okay. So now let's download this. Uh, this directory and the content which is this file and this directory to our 1.10 machine here so to do that we use the get command followed by r press tab key and sf okay this and you can see that it never gave me an error and let's ls the content and now this directory is available here and you can check with IPA to prove that this is 1.10 machine and this one is 1.50 so perfect we have proved our point that in order to upload you should have the same directory name as in the remote machine as in the local machine and to download you don't need anything fancy uh, anyway guys so this is the end of this video and i hope you guys have enjoyed it so please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on twitter it's at linux king 77 you can always uh, join our facebook group it's and like our facebook page it's facebook.com forward slash linux king 77 and our group name is lzh project on facebook so thank you for watching and goodbye